Hello everyone, this is Hunter. Today I'm going to talk about the data record. This function is used for logging the data so we can directly save or restore the data into the HMI. Then, through some method, we can view the data again when we need it. So following, let me introduce how to set data record in PI Studio. So data record is in this area. So we click it and select one group to check this setting. And if we want to new one, we can click this add. So we check this group and the first step is to name the group so we directly set the as default and the second one is to select the trigger method as we can see there are four methods we can select The first one is no trigger. We can also call it as record by cycle. And then the second one is similar with the first one. But the second one plus another condition, we need to set this B address as on. Then it can record the data. The third one and then the fourth one is same. Using this trigger bit to to re record the data, but the third one will reset it, reset this trigger bit, but the, the fourth one not. So we change back to the first one, and then we need to set these total channels. So in this case, we have two channels. The first channel is HDW100 and the second channel is HDW101. So if we want to add another record, we can change the setting here and click apply. So for example, I can add another HDW100 and 2 here so click OK to fill in the channel 3 so let, let me back to the 2 channel so here is for the cycle time because we, we selected the first method and there, there is a setting for us to check the maximum record we can go up with how many so if, if we record in SD card or USB we can ignore this, this settings so after we finish all the settings we can click save to close this setting window about the last part is object setting we need to select this record group and uh, fill in the function address the last to select the screen for query time then we can click OK so if we if we not in input this function address then it will to tell me to tell us to must input this address otherwise can cannot fin finish it, this setting so we
poison 1000 and uh, click OK. Then the setting is finishing. In this case, I already set four methods at one time. So we click directly, click compile and run it as offline simulator. So we flash this table. So we can see that the first method table is keeping adding the data into the table. But the, the second one table didn't add any anything. Once I turn on this trigger bit, so we can see that it start to record the data. So when I turn off it again, and it start to record now. Let me change it to the now screen, and here is the third method and the fourth method. So we can see the third method when. Uh, also to enable the refresh the table. So when I trigger this bit and we can see the record once and turn off the bit. So it is reset function. I trigger once and the record once. But this one, if I trigger once and it will not reset. So I need to turn off again so then I can turn on to, to, to save the data. So this is uh, all the content I will present today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.